Tonight exclusive, he's worked on major cases like the deaths of President John F. Kennedy, Elvis Presley, and John Benet Ramsey. Dr. Cyril Wecht, famed forensic pathologist out of uh, Pittsburgh, PA, joined. Dr. Cyril Wecht is a forensic pathologist and attorney. Dr. Wecht, this happened because of a jailhouse confession. What, what could happen now to further this case and prove that he was the guy? If Shocking unsolved crime number 17 is the Tylenol poisoning scare. The injuries that were found were, in my opinion, uh, far too significant, extensive, and atypical to be associated with a suicide. Here to discuss that is forensic pathologist and the co-author of the book, Who Killed John Benny Ramsey, Dr. Cyril Wecht. Thanks for being with us. I would like to point out that this body should have been found back in May of 2001, when it was found almost 13 months later. The environmental conditions were exactly the same. Joining us now from Pittsburgh, our old friend, Dr. Cyril Wecht, forensic pathologist. You, you cannot make a diagnosis of convulsive seizure disorder like you make a diagnosis of a myocardial infarct, a pulmonary embolism, uh, a brain tumor. Making the phone calls and so on is a situation in which somebody uh, wants to be caught. Um, somebody is playing a dangerous game which may work out to the benefit of the investigators. Hmm, that's uh, interesting. And do you believe uh, he died by accident? Do you believe, uh, well, I guess you would not know if someone was enabling Daniel Smith to kill himself. Well, the question of enabling is one question. The question of deliberate motivation to bring about somebody's death is another, Geraldo. Now, how might the passage of time and submersion in water affect evidence? It would have affected it considerably. The suitcase would have provided some protection, Larry, uh, from uh, immersion and decomposition. And thank you for that very good uh, explanation of what the touch analysis is.